while you're watching this video, I cannot emphasize enough to have at least the user manual open while you're watching this video. The user manual covers everything that you need to know to connecting as a client to hosting a session. So make sure you have this open while you're watching this video. So you made it to Falcon BMS. Now you're ready for the dynamic campaign and the online experiences it has to offer. So first, you need to get into multiplayer. Go to multiplayer. Go to new. And it has new entry here, everything is blank. So here you put in the server, server name, so server. Here you would put in the IP address, so 1234, whatever it is, it'll have decimals in there, but you can get that from whoever you're, you're logging into. Put the server there, download bandwidth, it'll be 70% of your download, and then 70% of your upload. So go to speed test and, and use that for 70% up and 70% down, it's in kilobits. Once you have that in there, if you're unknown of this, 3,000 would work just fine as long as your download and upload is not less than that. But usually download and uploads are, are, are more than 3,000. So you have your download and your upload. Make sure these two boxes are checked. It automatically launches your IVC. There's no reason to launch your IVC before you log into a server. So down here you have the dedicated IVC server. It should be the same as the IP address. If it's not, your host will specify that it is not and you would put the dedicated IVC server down here. Dedicated IVC password, if there's a password, you would put in a password. If there's not, then there'll be no password. After that, you would press save, and it would add it to your, to your phone book here, where you can just click on it, and it'll automatically populate this, so you don't have to do this every single time. And after you press save, and it's in your, your comms here, click on it again, it might go to somewhere else. So click on that saved, that saved server again, and then press connect. Once you press connect, it'll take a little while. Just give it a chance to, to connect. It will give a confirmation. So there's connection established. So once you have connection established, there are different ways to get into multiplayer. Instant action is we don't use, really use it as much. Dogfight is the dogfight mode. And if someone is hosting a game in here, you'd click online. And it would be it would populate in here as uh, the person's call sign and game, and you'd be able to see it there. If it's in tactical engagement, it would it would be the same way. Press online, and it would be up in here. If you want to host your own on a server, you'd have to go to saved, choose which one you want to 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 run. Once you press press one of them, you press that, and you press commit online. That will populate a line in online once they, once the other people go into the online tab. So if you're hosting it, go to saved, click it online. If you're joining one, click online first and it should be in here. So for the campaigns, this the server has a campaign. So as you can see, it gives you all of these things. If you create your own campaign, it'll create your own online. So here, click online. See how there's two there's two servers here. And if you press the, the, the plus sign, it'll open up and see who's in there. So once you're in there, you would click on whichever one that you want to join. You click on it. You don't really have to, to do all of this, but there's there's different places. And it has a zero, a zero for players here. So you can click on all the ones that have players. So this one has players. So that's a good one to join. That's players there. But if you accidentally join the wrong one, Let's go, for example, let's go here. I'm going to hit commit online. It'll give all of these options here. If there's a password, they'll, they'll, have, they'll give you the password. If there's not, you'll have it there. These are options that you could leave pretty much default, whatever it is. It's this the ability to enable any of these things in the server. It's the rules of the server. So press OK. It's waiting for data. And now you're in the seat. If... You don't see anybody here. You go to you go to comms. You can see people there. You find the person you want to join. You right click on them, and you press join, and it'll automatically put it put you in their in their flight that you want to be in. To make sure everyone's audio settings are correct, we do an IVC check before we get into 3D. What this does is to make sure that the audio settings for your voice and audio settings for the radios are going to the correct paths. So. In this case, you would click on, you would be on the screen, click on BMS to make it active. Once it's active, you would press F1 and say your call sign and IVC check. So like Falcon 4-1 IVC check. And it would go in order from 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
and it'll go to the next flight and so on and so forth. If you have problems with your voice, either your wingman can't hear you or you can't hear someone else, you go down here to your taskbar, open up the IVC client. Now you can see that the IVC client is running and you notice down here that everything, nothing's correct. So you go down to sound devices, make sure your capture device is correct and your playback device is correct. If it's not correct, go ahead and click force local control, wait a couple seconds, it'll disconnect from the server and it'll allow you to change your settings. So go ahead and change your settings to whatever is correct. Go ahead and hit connect. And then uncheck force local control. And that'll get get you back in the server and you could try it again. It'll it'll go all gray and you can't show it anymore. Now you could try your IVC check again. If it still doesn't work, go ahead and log out of the of BMS. Make sure you to close your IVC client and launch it all again and then make sure that your sound devices are correct.